Hi, in this video I'll be showing you this. It's the Reolink Duo camera. Or what I want to do today, first of all get this unboxed and show you what the camera comes with. Also get it set up. So I want to get it all connected, set up on the front of my house, because I've not got any cameras or any CCTV at the moment. So it will be a really good test and a good learning experience for me. Just before we start, all I'd normally say is please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just give us a quick thumbs up, click subscribe. What I do is I normally talk about household appliances. There's normally a lot of tech in there as well. Uh, so just give us a quick subscribe, then we'll make a start. So first of all, let's get the camera unboxed. Uh, these are the instructions. So we'll be referring to these, uh, just to get everything set up. Uh, but let's just pop that to the side for a minute. Here we go. So this is the duo camera itself. So there we are. I must say, it looks very smart. Uh, let's just take the take that off the front. As you can see, it's duo because it's got the the two lenses on there. Uh, there's quite a quite a short cable here. Now there are actually four versions of this. Uh, this is the power over Ethernet version. I wanted to go for this because the Wi-Fi I've got here in my property, I'll be completely honest, is not that great. Um, and on the odd occasion we do get internet dropout. So what I don't want is I don't want the Wi-Fi to interfere with the cameras at all. That's why I've gone for this version, the, the PoE as they call it, power over Ethernet. There are actually three other versions that you can go for. Uh, you've either got the wire free version. So as it says, you don't have any wires going to the camera, uh, which could always be a popular option because some people don't want to drill holes into the, uh, sort of going through to your property. Uh, you've also got the 4G version and you've got the Wi-Fi version. Uh, but for the purpose of this video, I just wanted to set up the this one, the PoE or Power Over Ethernet version. Uh, just pop that to the one side for a moment. Uh, so here we've just got some covers. So these will just stop any water getting into the connection. But what I'll do is I'll just uh, put those to one side because we'll get all that set up in a moment. This is the, the mounting bracket. Now what I do like about the camera is you've actually got two mounting positions. First of all, you've got the one on top and you've got another one underneath. But it's nice to have the option uh, to where you can uh, locate the mounting bracket into either of these two. And as you can see here, all that will do is that will just screw in. And then this is on a ball joint. So you can just rotate that really depending on where you want it. And then lastly, we've got a, it's a one meter ethernet cable. Uh, I'll be honest, that isn't quite long enough for what I need. So I have got a, a separate cable, uh, but it's nice to know that Reolink have put a, a one meter version in anyway. And then we've got some raw plugs and screws. Uh, so we've got those in here. But I think what I want to do now is I'm going to start looking at the instructions. Uh, so really, first of all, what I want to do is to uh, sort of decide, I suppose, where I want it to be located. Uh, but also there is an app, so set up the camera. So what I want to do is I want to get this part done first uh, because I just want to make sure everything works okay. Because what I don't want to do is to get it all set up uh, and then find that it something doesn't quite work with my router. So what I want to do first of all is to uh, just scan the QR code on my phone and I'm going to get this set up. Just before I carry on, uh, I did notice that I was just going through the package and just uh, starting to tidy up. And you do get a little screwdriver with it as well. Uh, now that can be quite good. Uh, so because on the bottom here, you've got the little micro SD slot. Uh, so you want to pop the, pop the micro SD card into here. And what Reolink have done is they've given the screwdriver to make sure it fits. So by scanning the QR code, I've downloaded the Reolink app onto my phone now and I've just clicked to add a device. So what it wants me to do now is just to scan the QR code on the device itself. So if I just get the camera, uh, just find that. So now that's found it. And that's why doing things like this are important to do uh, before you put it up on the wall. Um, I think it's much easier to get this kind of thing set up. First of all, I've done it before where I've try to install something and then you realize you either need to take it down. 
Now, one thing to note, and I've just noticed this within the instructions. So although it is the power over ethernet, uh, you do still need to have some kind of power to the camera. Uh, so you've got the, the little connection here. Uh, now, there are several options, so it's not just one. Uh, I suppose the main one that people will use, uh, you've either got the option of a PoE switch, injector, or the RioLink PoE NVR, or you can also get a separate DC 12 volt adapter. Uh, for the purpose of this video, I've actually got a 12 volt adapter. Now I've finished the setup process on my phone. So I've checked to make sure the camera's got power, it's connected to the ethernet and everything works. So I've got all that bit done. So really what I want to do now is to get the camera set up outside. So really what you need to do is decide the location of the camera as to where you want it to sit. Uh, it does come with a, the bracket, as I mentioned earlier, and it's got the inst installation instructions on how to put it up. Uh, first of all, I do apologise about the noise, so if it does get a little bit noisy outside, that's because I'm on a, a main road, so there's quite a bit of traffic going past. So what I would like to do is to ideally have this up here, so mainly so it's nice and weatherproof, so any rain isn't going to be affected by it. Clearly it is waterproof, uh, but what you want to do is you want to try and minimise the amount of rain or moisture that gets onto it. So I want to try and put it around here, and as far as the cable going inside, uh, as far as the, the cable itself, so this needs to go through a hole somewhere. Um, unfortunately, this, this brick is pretty thick. Um, although it looks quite thin, this side is extremely thick the other side. Um, as far as the this, this window pane is a very old window pane, and I'll be honest, we are going to be replacing it soon. Uh, so for the purpose of this video, what I want to do is I'm actually going to drill through the side here. I know under normal circumstances, it probably isn't ideal, and normally you'd probably go through the brick. Uh, but what we need to do is we need to make sure that the hole is big enough to get this through. So it is a, a fair size hole, uh, but what I'm going to try and do is try and go as, as near to the brick as possible. Um, and then once I've done that, uh, so then we can, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this up first and then I can decide on where the hole is going to be drilled uh, within the side of the frame. Uh, but as far as putting this up, I suppose this will be the first thing to put up. You get this metal bracket, and once this metal bracket is screwed onto the top, then all you do is that will clip in like that, and then you just pop a screw in there. So that should be nice and easy to do. And as far as the hole location for that metal bracket, you do get a little guide as well. So again, that's very useful. So, so far, I'm really impressed. It was very easy to set up the camera. Um, the only thing, I'll be honest, I wasn't clear about to start with uh, was that I needed the 12 volt power supply. So that's something I had to get separately. Uh, but once I got that, then setting the whole camera up was an easy process. Um, and by the look of it, the installation instructions are very good. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get this screwed onto the top and let's have a go. I will just quickly show you why I'm going to put it in the location I am. Uh, if I just turn the camera round, then as you can see, so we are on a busy main road just at the bottom here. And just to the right here, we've got a very large rabbit. And it's nice just to keep an eye on him. So I suppose the advantage of having the duo camera is that we've got two, almost two cameras in one. Uh, that's really the idea of this. And also because of where we live, we've got a field next to us and what we want to do is we want to just make sure uh, that nobody is climbing over the fence so although we've got the barbed wire there it's just nice to know that we've got the peace of mind of having the camera and that when you've got those two screws then then all you need to do is just get the mounting bracket and there's a little screw that's in the packet with all of the roll plugs and the couple of screws that come with it so all you need to do is just make sure you locate it at the back and then clip it over at the front and get your screwdriver so just turn that and then that's the mounting bracket in place uh, so I suppose that's that's probably one of the most difficult bits uh, but all that enables us to do now is to locate the hole that I need to drill to get the camera wire through I've just drilled the hole uh, just to note it was a 19 millimeter hole that I've drilled uh, so whether you're going through the plastic or the brick then if you are trying to put that quite big connection through then you want to drill a 19mm hole 
You can go the other way, so you can have all the cables on the outside, and you can use this. Uh, this is a, a watertight connection. Uh, personally, I'd much prefer all the connections on the inside. Uh, I'll just show you the hole, because uh, it is, it, to be fair, it is quite a big hole, but I can just put some silicon sealant around it, so that's not a problem. But hopefully you can see here that just at the top, so it's quite an, it's a nice neat connection. That's nice and tight, so the camera's nice and tight up to the brick, and it's quite far back as well. Uh, just on the inside here, so clearly this is where we've got all the connections. Uh, but you know, once it's all finished, then I can easily tidy this up. Just pop some white silicon sealant on the inside, uh, just to finish off the job. So what I thought I'd do, now I've finished the installation of the camera, I've connected all the cables up. Um, to be fair, I've just put them in for now, uh, but clearly we can channel all the cables to make sure they're all nice and neat and tidy. I will do that a bit later, uh, but for now what I've done is I've just come in to grab a quick cup of tea. Um, I have downloaded, or I'm just downloading the uh, software onto my laptop at the moment, because what I want to do, I want to show you around the camera uh, some of the features and benefits that it offers. Uh, I'll just quickly show you on my phone. Now at the moment, the, I suppose the reason I'm showing you on my laptop uh, is because the, the images will be clearly a lot bigger. Um, but I'll just show you on here. So this is the, uh, as I say, I've only just done this. So I've not really gone through the app. Uh, I am just about to pop in the SD card. Uh, that's really easy to do. So it's just underneath the camera. Uh, you can put a maximum of 256 gig just put my teeth back in, so a 256 gigabyte SD card, uh, sorry, micro SD, uh, so that can just go underneath. There's just a couple of screws to pop that in, so that's nice and easy. Now you have got a couple of options here. Uh, clearly being the duo camera, you've either got the two camera view, and I must say, on even on the first glance, I'm really impressed with the pitch quality. Uh, the other option, if I just turn that sideways, then we are going to see everything so it's just the one view. Uh, it's really, really clever how it's done it. It's almost joined the two images together. And as you can see, I wouldn't be able to get that field of view if I just had one camera there. I would need two cameras. And what that does is that's given me the ability to look down the driveway. Uh, I have got the Naples permission at the moment to look on their side. I know it's not completely going onto their side, but uh, you can adjust the field of view quite easily. Uh, but most importantly what it's done is it's given me access to look completely down the drive and also a little bit uh, We can see the rabbit uh, and also just into the the side of the field as well So just saying about the field of view it's 150 degrees uh, So that's really really impressive for one camera So it's 150 degrees and if you're looking vertically then it's up to 44 degrees as far as the temperature operation, you know, some people might be thinking, well, I do live in either a cold country or I live in a hot country, and it can go from minus 10 up to plus 55 degrees centigrade. Uh, so if you are concerned about that, then to be fair, you needn't worry because for the majority of countries, then that should be fine. Especially in the UK, you know, we're used to being quite drizzly as well. Um, because of where I've positioned it, then that shouldn't be a problem. So I'm really looking forward to trying this. Uh, but just a couple of other things about the camera system. Uh, the first thing is you've actually got 20 user accesses that you can use the system. So in theory, you could have 20 people that could access your system if you wanted to. So if you've got 20 devices, not that many people have got 20 devices, uh, but you have got that opportunity. What you've also got is a built-in microphone and speaker. So what you can do is while you're, for example, at work, then if you have got a courier that's delivering a parcel to your house, then you could actually tell them where to leave the parcel. So it is a fantastic system. What you've also got is things like night vision, but really what I want to do now, and I'm just finishing getting the uh, my laptop set up with it, so then I can have a look at the system through my mobile phone and through the laptop as well. So what I've done now is I've downloaded the software onto my laptop, and as you can see, the picture is a lot clearer, uh, clearly because it's much bigger on the laptop compared to my mobile. Um, but I just really want to run through some of the functions that the camera's got. Uh, as far as the, so clearly we've got two cameras. Well, they're not two cameras, they're two lenses on the camera because it's the duo lens. Uh, but what we can do is we can actually toggle through uh, both lenses so we can see one at a time if we wanted to. 
uh, or if you just double click on that then you can see it as, as one view uh, but I suppose at the moment all I want to do is I want to have a look at one of the cameras uh, it normally just takes a second to adjust so I'll just show you that again so the picture is not quite as clear to start with and it's normally about a second later it just uh, adjusts itself and then it really really is clear I'm very very impressed with this you can see the detail in the trees and just around the the conifer trees here so just at the bottom here uh, you can see where I'm moving the the mouse uh, we've got a handful of options I'll just run through a couple of these the first one is the audio alarm uh, this could be really useful if you're away so if you're on holiday or if you're at work uh, you could or you could even be at the shops and if you see somebody outside your property that you're not quite comfortable with what you can do is you can enable an audio alarm so it just press that button and then you press the bell and that just enables the audio alarm to go on for a couple of seconds so that's a could be a good deterrent uh, that could be very useful so that's the first one the second one is a spotlight now what I will do clearly at the moment it is light so I'm going to wait till it is pitch black and then come back and do a little bit more recording uh, the next option you can actually zoom in to a certain section of the image so if we go to let's have a look at the the rabbit and if we just move that to one side then it clearly it it has zoomed in uh, it's not quite as clear uh, but we can see that at the moment I think he's just having a, a bit of a rest so that's that's a, a really good option uh, next we have got the recording option because this is the live view at the moment um, as far as the recording there are different options uh, depending on the camera that you've got but you've got you can either have it to record all the time you could have it to record just when you've got motion so it's either human uh, interaction so if you just got somebody walking up the path then you can have it to record them you could have it to record vehicles so if you've got say a long driveway then you could have it to record just car movements uh, and then the last option here is a snapshot so if you just wanted to take a photo of something if there's somebody that's walked up your driveway and you just wanted to take a quick picture then just select this option on the right hand side here so what I want to do now is just give you a quick example of the field of view uh, I know I've showed you it's well I've mentioned it's 150 degrees uh, the field of view uh, which is normally very impressive but I'll just quickly show you because I'm just going to walk up the, the uh, pathway and then just have a quick walk round. So hopefully you could see me walking up the, the pathway there and clearly when it's recorded then what you can do is you can pause it at a certain position if you wanted to see someone's face. Uh, you have got something else where you can actually talk to somebody so again if you're out if a courier has come to the door and you want him to tell uh, let him know where to leave the parcel then if you press the talk button so that's the one down at the, again at the bottom right then you just press this button and what this enables you to do is to start talking so I'm actually talking at the moment so using the uh, the microphone uh, but what it will do is you can actually talk and then the person at the other end can talk because you've got the speaker and the microphone in the camera and what will happen is when they're at the other end then you can have a conversation one of the final things I want to show you was night vision now this is part of the camera uh, it's something you don't have to enable uh, but I just really want to give you a, a quick overview of this uh, so at, at the moment as you can see the time on here uh, it's just gone nine o'clock at night and it is pitch black out there I can't see anything uh, but I know the image isn't completely sharp uh, but I think for 
uh, for how dark it is, that is very good. I'll just show you the, the other image from the second lens. Uh, but what I am going to do is I am going to go outside just to show you this function uh, because it has got a light on it and it has got uh, different sensitivity levels. So I have set it to medium, obviously because we've got the, the rabbit out there. I don't want the light coming on every time the rabbit walks past. So I will just show you because what it does is once the light comes on, then it does really enhance the picture. So I'll just be a second and I'll show you that. So if the light doesn't stay on for too long, what it will do is it will detect when there is movement on the camera. So clearly when I was out there, the light came on and it's really improved the picture quality. Uh, bear in mind again, it is pitch black out there. And any moment now, that's, that's it. So what it does is the, the light goes out and then it just goes back to the night vision mode. I must say I've really enjoyed making this video. Uh, I do always enjoy the, the setup process, how to operate and then seeing it function. So I've, I've been really impressed with the product. Uh, if you're impressed as I am with this, then I have provided a link below to show you where to get one at a competitive price. Really, the final thing I need to do is to put one of these stickers on the window because I must admit it is something I'm going to keep and I will end up using it. And chances are I will end up getting another camera for the back of the house as well. Uh, I think what it's done, because I must admit I was thinking about getting a full camera system, but clearly with going for the duo version where you've got the two lenses, then for a lot of people that will cut down the need for extra cameras. Hope you enjoyed this quick video on the Rio Link Duo camera. Please give us a thumbs up on a YouTube video, leave any comments below. I'd always ask for comments, whether it's good or bad, about the video. Now I know there's a lot to cover, especially with this kind of system. Uh, it's not like a lot of my other videos which are fairly simple, it's just talking about the product. What I've tried to do is I've tried to cover the whole setup process, installation and then to give you a brief overview of it. But if you have got any questions on it, then just pop it in the comments and I'll try and answer them for you. Thanks for watching.